I quit a job in the pettiest way possible. So, I've worked in the service industry for a decent amount of time and in a few different cities. I landed a job in one of these new cities at a restaurant that has a few locations across the state and is moving to expand to a couple other states. When I applied I specifically stated I would prefer to work mornings and night or two a week would be fine if necessary, but prior to getting this job, I had been physically assaulted when leaving work at around 1 a.m. I didn't give the full story during the interview, but I did make it clear that I was looking for a schedule that didn't involve late nights, and the manager I interviewed with said that was completely doable. I got a call a day later saying I had gotten the job, I was bartending and went through training, and everything seemed fine. This place was open from 8 a.m. to 2 a.m. every day. The busiest times were for brunch every day and then the late night bar crowd. My first schedule out of training was all closing bar shifts. I was a bit put off because of the schedule conversation during the interview, but I went with it and gave them the benefit of the doubt, especially knowing when you're bringing in six new hires, it can be hard getting everyone's schedule straight. More time went on and I was still working mostly nights, maybe one morning shift sprinkled in every so often. I brought it to the hiring manager's attention and he said they would try to get me more morning shifts. I went along with it for a while without seeing any change. Eventually I brought it to the GM's attention and let him know that when I was hired I was given the impression that I would be a daytime bartender and I had been stuck working shifts where leaving at 3 a.m. was getting out of there quickly. He gave me a little bit of an attitude and told me that all employees were required to work any shifts assigned to them. Obviously I knew that, but it was incredibly irritating that I was told one thing before I actually accepted the job and now I'm working the opposite schedule. The GM was an unbearable human. Incredibly sexist, thought he was always the smartest and best looking person in the room and so on. He was constantly belittling the employees in the guise of training. Fast forward to a couple weeks after my conversation with him. I had finally been scheduled a brunch shift on a Saturday morning. This place didn't take reservations, and people are lining up outside of the door at 7.30 in the morning. I was bartending with two other people behind a pretty small bar, it maybe sat 15 people but in a circle, so not a lot of room for three people to be back there. We open and it's incredibly busy, but everything is running smoothly. A couple hours into the shift one of the hoses from a dish machine gets loose and just starts spraying water all over that side of the bar. I, of course, was the one on that side, and it completely drenched me before we could grab the hose and shut the dish machine off. My face and hair were soaking, but the real humiliation came from the fact that the uniform shirt I was wearing that morning was white. I immediately headed to the bathroom to dry my face, and one of the servers followed me in to make sure I was okay. You could obviously see everything through the shirt, and after I had compassed myself I went to the GM to get a new shirt to get back to work. He told me he didn't have the time to get the keys and go through the bins to get one. I was shocked. It took me a minute, but I got back behind the bar and was incredibly upset and knew that this would be my last shift. I worked for about another 30 minutes. I took orders from bar guests and pulled as many service well tickets as I could. We were in the heat of service at that point, and every spot in the restaurant was full. Every service well ticket I pulled I crumpled up in my hand, and every order I took I never rang in. After that half hour I excused myself to the bathroom, grabbed my things and left. I knew that everyone who complained about things taking too long would have their food and drinks comped. A part of me felt a little bit guilty for doing what I did only for the guest's sake. The larger part of me felt good because that disrespectful a-hole was going to have to apologize to everyone and let them know they would be taken care of. I've never been humiliated in that way at any place I've ever worked for. Looking back on it I have no regrets. To the people that put up with management or ownership's bullshit, don't do it. Find a place where you're treated with respect. They do exist. The GM was fired a few months later for stealing. Rick, if you're on Reddit I know you'll remember this story. Thank you.